Hi folks, I'm Steve Saparos with Security Info Watch, and I'm extremely happy to be here with a neat partner of Dragonfruit AI, a company that intelligently uses AI together with video management systems and forensic and, 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 and department. So tell us a little bit about some of the solutions here at Dragonfruit. Yeah, absolutely. We started a few years ago and we are really focused on three different products. Uh, one is video management, so we think that a lot of video management solutions that have been built in the last 10, 15, 20 years have focused for good reason on real-time video monitoring and on storage of that video. Makes a lot of sense. But as AI has become commonplace, uh, the need for using that to improve the video management uh, uh, has arisen, right? So if you have alerting that's happening through a VMS using motion detection, and 90% of those alerts are false alerts, so people ignore they're it. Ignored. They ignore it. So what we're saying is, no, you should probably do video-based uh, or video intelligence-based alerts, so you're detecting people and vehicles you instead of anything. Very kind. Computer vision is necessity. <laughs> well, uh, well, thank you for saying that. Which is why we price our video management. Uh, in a very affordable way. We think everyone should be using video AI for that kind of thing. It shouldn't be a, it shouldn't be an add-on that you put on top of your VMS. It should be part of the VMS. So that's one product we have. But there are literally millions of people with an existing VMS that love it, which is great. So for them, we have a second product, which is visual intelligence. So you can layer on this intelligence. So you can improve your, uh, or reduce your false alarms by adding object detection-based real-time alerts. Uh, you can also do liquid spill alerts if you're in retail environment to reduce slip and fall claims. You could just do slip and fall alerts. Uh, you can do fire and smoke alerts. So there's a lot of things that are traditionally being done through either different sensors, uh, which we can add on. Uh, the thing about retail is that there are other sensors that are not video. There's point of sale terminals. There is access control, of course. We are bringing all of those into a sensor fusion system putting it all together into one package. Uh, and then finally, forensic investigations. If yes, something does happen. A lot to unpack there. That's yes. Really wonderful. Thank you. Many, many sensors. Yes. So people have relied too much on cameras so that we're supplementing those sensors. Yes. So that the convolutional neural network, the computer vision, the intelligence behind artificial intelligence can make the right decisions. Because you don't necessarily need, like conventional analytics, to have seen this, the actual environment. Before. That's exactly right. I mean, if you are looking at a, uh, you know, you're looking at a pharmacy, or not a pharmacy, sorry, uh, uh, where you're building a medicine and you have clean rooms, and if you want to make sure that there is an alert, that, uh, you know, if someone is not wearing PPE, uh, and you want to get an alert and an access control badge, you want that door to not open because the person is not wearing PPE. But you can do that only by combining the access control data, by combining the video uh, vision data. There are things that are impossible yesterday that are common, going to be commonplace uh, day after tomorrow. Today, it's only us doing it. Uh, but you will see a lot of this happen by uh, players in the next five to 10 years. And, and let me uh, make sure that the audience hears something that you said very quickly, and you know they should not take it for granted. Uh, the real difference between the major uh, video management system companies and yours is that you are intimate with AI, whereas the video management system companies that perhaps others are looking to, as you say, layer onto, are actually behind the curve. Because yes. they're not AI experts. Yes. And they don't understand coding, and they don't understand visual libraries. Not for the lack of it. I mean, if you think about Genetech, they bought a company called Kiwi. Uh, you know, Milestone bought BriefCam. Uh, uh, Eagle Eye bought an AI company. But here's the problem. You cannot add on intelligence. As we know, intelligence is half of it is innate, and half of it is, you know, your environment, right? You cannot patch on AI on a traditional VMS company. This is why genetics analytics doesn't work well, right? And they've been struggling for ages. This is not gonna get fixed. You need an AI company to build a VMS, not a VMS company to layer on AI. 
this is what Dragon Fruit is. If we are an AI company and we give away uh, for free video monitoring, we give away for free video storage management because guess what? That is commodity today. I like the way you think. So, how does, let's get into uh, the details of what makes up your end solution. I see some hardware here, I yes. see some software, there's two, price of $900. <laughs> there's two things to know about Dragon Fruit. Uh, one is Apple and the second is Split. The Apple part is that there is an on-premise component which is built on the Apple platform. Now, Apple has this new chip called the M1 and the M2 just came out. You know what? Apple said, what do consumers want? They're watching a lot of video. We're watching Netflix, Hulu. So we're gonna put video transcoding right in the chip. And what is the other thing that we are, we are seeing a lot of machine learning? It runs cooler. And it runs cooler, right? So because it's Apple, they custom built an app, I like to say, for Dragon Fruit by chance. Because what do we need as a Dragon Fruit? We want video transcoding for our VMS capabilities, and we want machine learning for our AI capabilities. The Apple platform is a perfect fit. What, uh, what that means is that uh, our ability to process tens, twenties, hundreds of cameras on one small form factor is insane. There's no one, no one in the security industry that is using can Apple. I, can I assume that you're about 100 teraflops, the equivalent of about 100 teraflops, or 100 tops, I should say, faster. And a lot of people don't realize this, but what happens when a company attempts to put a complex convolutional network into a camera and try to achieve it at the edge, which a lot of folks are trying to do, they don't have a processor that's that's right. enough to perform it. That's right. That, and, and this is and this solves that problem. And this solves that problem. Yeah, because you know, it's almost like the brain is in the jar. If you have five cameras, M1 is a very efficient right? It doesn't so melt. if you have, if you have five cameras, each with a little brain, right? If you take all that brain, put it in a jar. That's what's happening with the M1. It's a brain in a jar, and you connect with all of these cameras, and so you don't have to be constricted by the intelligence in each camera. And you know what? Even if you have two AI cameras with little brains in them, one is telling you there's 15 people on the scene, another is telling you 20, but they have an overlap. Guess what? Both of their numbers are wrong because there's an overlap, there's some people in that overlap. You have to get the intelligence out of the camera. You have to put it in a jar. And that's what Apple M1 does. So that's one big thing that's different about Dragon Fruit. The second thing is something called split AI, where we're saying machine learning, where do you run it? Do you run it in the cloud? Do you run it on the camera? Do you run, where do you run it? And we're saying it's not or, it's and. We run ML processing both on premise and on the cloud. And depending on the bandwidth, if there's a lot of bandwidth, it moves it out to the cloud. Why? Because it's cheaper there. If there's not a lot of bandwidth, it does it on the, into, on the base station. Why? Because you can't push video to the cloud. Our patented split AI, not patent pending, we actually got a patent on this, allows us to move the processing of machine learning on the cloud or the base, depending on what your bandwidth constraints are. These two things, the Apple Mac platform, for an amazing performance on-prem and the ability to offload the cloud based on bandwidth is completely unique in the industry. And it's, it's a necessity to It's a necessity. Because we don't have the silicon at the edge. Right. When we started the company, me, Amol, and Padma uh, a few years ago, and we did our research, we came to ISC West, and I kept asking people, why haven't you deployed BriefCamp? I said, BriefCamp's demo is amazing. Like, I, I think it's an amazing company. Like, everyone should be deploying it. And they said, well, we, we don't, like, it's so expensive. We gotta spend like $100,000 to deploy brief cam, so we're not gonna do it. Lo lovely demo. We prototype it, POC it, don't deploy it. Sure, essentially, has a server nearby each camera. Yeah, exactly. It's, that doesn't work. So we are solving that. Yeah, absolutely. This is, uh, this is what our Apple Mac Mini looks like uh, right here. And that is the base station that powers a lot of it. In fact, it doesn't even matter because the hardware is always free. So whenever you buy our product, you don't even say, oh yeah, like how many hardware devices you're gonna get. You'll get infinite devices if you need it because it's all included in the price. This allows us 
to stay with the times. Let's say you bought some hardware, right? At this point, it's yours. Now you have to, um, uh, it's three years from now, and now you have a new Apple platform. Can you buy it? No, because you already bought the hardware, right? With our system, hardware as a service, we can keep upgrading our hardware, right? Whenever you need to. And a model that has been necess necess uh, necessary for the security industry, but absent for a very, very long time. Yes. So this, this is wonderful. So uh, you've got a, a few different stores here, so you're excellent for a retail environment, uh, corporate campuses, multiple corporate campuses. Yes. But also tell us a little bit about uh, the forensic investigation so you know folks can uh, utilize the AI yes. together with that because the events are more uh, realistic and uh, justified so they're not looking through tons That's of right. alerts. That's right. And what we did for our forensic investigation suite is we said, okay, what are the main problems? Like if you're a forensic investigator, like what are the what are the problems you have? You know what the first problem is? Is I don't have enough USB uh, USB keys. Like even the first problem of how do I get the video in to investigate is a big one and people don't think about it. So what we built is an end-to-end -end system which connects to the VMS. So in, in the location tab, if I create a new location, So you can securely get it to any location. Yeah, actually it turns out that we don't have a new location, someone deleted it, let's create a new one. New location. That's okay, the concept So now you have all of these VMSs, right? Mm -hmm. So I can choose a Milestone, Genetech, a Vigilant. These are just our top partners. We also work with Wave, uh, Network Optics, uh, uh, Digital Watchdog. So you, so you extract that video data? Uh, yes, so you basically say, yeah, so you go and say, hey, here's salient, here's a username, password, and then select sources. What this allows us to do is get a list of all of the cameras from that system so that when you have an investigation, you're ready. So how does that work? Well, let's look at investigation. Here's one that I created before. Well, when the sources are presented to you, when you go to that. That's exactly location. right. So if I click on event, I say, I have an event that I want to investigate. I select a camera. And this list is coming from a from your VMS, right? So I specify that camera and I choose a time frame. So I just need to know roughly when something happened. When it when you know that time frame, we go in, get that information. It goes to our base station, the Apple Mac Mini with the M1 chip. That talks to a Vigilant Salient, or whatever it is, gets the video, brings it in. Once you have this, so therefore no USB keys needed. Once you have the event in. You go, okay, now I want to go search, right? I want to search for people. So I just say, oh, now you got your search. Now this is happening in the cloud, right? What that means is it's instantaneous. It doesn't matter if it's 10 hours of video or 10,000 hours of video. It's absolutely blazing fast. And you can do it across any number of cameras, any number of events, right? Now that's people, but you can do searching across uh, people, vehicles, you can do vehicles, right? Um, now I'm searching and finding results for all the vehicles. Uh, happening in real time, I go, okay, this particular one, kind of, sorta, but not quite, so I say find more like this. Okay, now I'm finding uh, more uh, vehicles that look like that one. So what we're seeing is the advanced parameters. Yes. But these are actually linked to your computer vision algorithm. That's exactly right. Directly. They're not just a user interface. No, Big so. Difference. <laughs> That's right. So if you look at advanced vehicles, you go license plates. I want to search for license plates, I can do that right there. Uh, you can do dwell times, slip and fall detection is right there, spill detection, hard hat, safety vest, all of these capabilities. But you know what's interesting is, we don't believe that every customer will require all the capabilities, right? So in fact, here it says, you have one license left for liquid spill detection, you can activate it. You don't have to buy, you don't have to spend an arm and a leg to get video AI. With Dragon Fruit, you don't need to. But you can layer on more things over time. This is all great, fine and dandy if you know exactly what you're looking for. So the bottom line is, spend as little as possible. As little as possible. As little as possible to record it in the highest possible resolution, hand it over to you. That's exactly right. You do not have to buy AI cameras. The reason why I know this is because 
that's something that I've been actually visualizing for many years. Yeah. <laughs> Finally, that's right. somebody's getting it. That's great. That's One last thing I want to show you, I know you have to go soon, is you can click on the summarize button if you don't know what you're searching for. When you click on summarize, what it does, it takes all of that footage and creates a short summary. So in this case, one minute, 28 seconds, wow. right? Now, I'm sure you have seen the brief cam. Yeah, brief cam has a synopsis thing. But imagine what brief cam would have built 10, 15 years after they were founded. Well, we were founded 10, 15 years later. So we are the next generation. How do you do better video summarization? So we saw all the mistakes that they made and we did a better job. So for example, with our video summaries, it's AI fast forward. It's not real time, it's sped up, right? So now you're seeing things move faster because if there's very few things happening, it, it moves them faster. A guy walking around for 20 minutes, speeds it up. But if there's a lot going on, it'll slow it down. So you can actually take in the scene. Well, you're actually using a neural network on the basis of multiple objects. That's exactly right. In Whereas, fact, I can prove know, it. the other is, I hate to say conventional, but yes. motion it's, tubes. That's right, that's right, that's exactly right. So the advantage of that is you could do traditional uh, you know, selections like black or gray, people wearing black or gray, apply, and now you have an ML-based video summarization which is showing you people in black and gray only. Right? So this allows you to process the scenes much faster, but since this is happening in the cloud, obviously it's way faster. We were talking with a uh, prospect uh, last night over dinner, and he was saying that it's taken him a year and a half to figure out the hardware because they bought the brief cam licenses, but the hardware is so expensive that they're having to go back and forth and back and forth. And I told him, what if your hardware was free? Meanwhile, you've been, you've been through the world you know, and back. five generations of silicon. That's exactly right. That's so, exactly right. Dollar-wise. Yes. Essentially, as I see it, the human element yeah. for this pays for this so many times over. Let's add a percentage onto this. So it looks like you're saving over legacy analytics 90, 75%, let's just say. And then I'm assuming over a motion to uh, synopsis, a conventional legacy synopsis, I'm going to say 50%. Yeah, so, so does that 50%, 50%. Uh, sounds about right from a uh, you know from a, a guess, so guess, guesstimate perspective, right? So but the other ones, uh, we actually have data on it because when we work with police departments, they actually tell us that it improves it by 10x. So that is 90% reduction is absolutely true. Similarly for false alarms, what the the data shows about 90% reduction in false alarms. And that's their primary cost. Uh, the sorry. That's their primary. That's cost. the primary cost. That's exactly right. So we think this is the future, um, and uh, you know the the integration of everything into one platform is a big big thing. And uh, employees can be remote. Employees can be remote. I don't understand why people aren't buying this already. They are. <laughs> they are. Good. They are. That's good news. <laughs> so this has been a hit. How do we buy this? <laughs> so you know, Dragonfruit.ai, you can literally create an account. Like on our website, if you you go to dragonfruit.ai, uh, and you can literally, and you can set up a remote demo. Uh, it's not even a demo; it's a fully functioning product. So if you click on create account, we preload all of the things that you said, uh, all of that you saw in there. So when you create an account, you can actually see it for yourself on how the system works. And you can start uploading your data, and uh, you know you can start using it right away. I love it. So, Dragonfruit AI, Amit, Amit Kumar, you've done an amazing job with this. Thank you, Steve. and look forward to your future success. Appreciate it.